Oh, look, I'm back in to training, in and out at the moment, just helping my body all hold up with the load and, you know, um, the increase with that that I've had over the last two months since the off-season. Um, you know, the boss and the medical team have been fantastic because they've been so patient with my injury and stuff like that and, you know, they're really helping me get back to, to where I was before, you know, I got injured and broke down. So, um, I'm like optimistic I'll be right for the start of the season. Um, you know, I'm putting in the graph now and I have been. So, I'm feeling pretty good, feeling, feeling like I'm getting there. I think with any like long-term injury, I think it's always a case of that. Um, you ask any pro footballer who's been in that situation, it's, you know, it's not plain sailing. You know, there's going to be setbacks and um, you might feel like you're progressing one day um, and then the next, you know, you do, like you said, take a step back and then the next day it's two steps forward. So, it, it is frustrating and mentally it's hard to get your head around a lot. Um, because there's so many things like you've got to come in and do all your rehab and stuff in the morning and get treatment and then you're seeing the boys go out on the pitch and you know it's getting your head around that especially early on but you know there's ways of dealing with it and you've just got to have the focus and you know the, the mental toughness to, to know you're going to be back, back playing at some point. I'm always dishing out the banter when I'm here aren't I? so you know that Gareth <laughs> as well as anyone so um, yeah no um, I guess they're happy having me in there, aren't they, at the moment with all that, so they'll be sad to see me go. <laughs> so me and my partner Lauren, um, we got a dog probably two months ago from the rescue centre at Shenton Park. Um, she's a little American staff here. I'll say little, but she's not, she's, she's grown a bit, I think she's filled out since we've got her. Someone obviously wasn't feeding her. Um, but yeah, she's great, um, you know, brought a lot of joy into the home. Not that it wasn't any already, there was plenty of that, but you know, a bit, bit of extra, bit of extra loving and you know, takes the attention off me sometimes when the missus is biting my ear off, so it's, um, it's good, so yeah, no, she's, she's a good pup, um, gets us out of the house a bit more like any dog does and yeah, we're loving it. She was really good at the start and I think she was just getting used to her surroundings, but it's like anyone when they settle in and they get comfortable, they get a bit mischievous and a bit naughty and over the last couple of weeks she's been chewing a few bits and bobs, but I can't tell her off Gareth because she's only chewing Lauren's heels and not none of my stuff, so it's, it's happy days, isn't it? Lauren's telling me, tell her off, tell her off, and I'm like, oh, I can't, you know, like, pretending to, so. We brought quite a few lads in and, you know, lads have, I've obviously left as well from last last year, and it's. I think it always takes a few weeks to you know readjust and get to know everyone again at the start of the season. And I think it does happen a lot in the A League. You know there is a bit a big intern and outtake of players. So um, it's something I've been here now five years. I've got used to it. You know seeing all the different faces, um, but the quality's been just as good. We, I feel like. We've actually, we, we look fitter in training now from watching the lads and in games. Um, obviously you've got the lads who were here last year who know, know the standard and, and know where the bar's set. Um, and I think that helps the new lads who've come in to push them on and then they realise actually, you know, I've actually got to, you know, step it up a gear and, and get with these the lads who've been here last season because, you know, we did set the bar high last year, um, but there's no means, you know, there's no reason why we can't, you know, go one better next year and, and and keep going forward so it's always like you said it's always exciting when you see the fixtures come out it's you're always looking at when when you play certain teams and stuff like that but I mean we've got Champions League this year as well that comes into it and we know you know it's going to be a busy schedule I know they've thrown a few buys in but I mean it's nothing to us because it's not going to stop us training either or anything like that the intensity is still going to be the same so um, the heavy schedule will be a test, but you know, we've got the boys here who, who can do a job and we've got the, the depth in the squad, I feel, to, uh, to do well in all the competitions. Uh, I think last season was the f maybe the first time in four years that I actually played round one, or the second time. So, you know, at the start of the season I've always picked up niggles, whether it's just before the season or whatever, and I've missed maybe one or two games at the start. and. It's something I think the most I've got is something like 24 games or 23 games in a season, so it'd be nice to, to actually play a full season. You know, obviously you've got to be put your hand up for selection and what have you, and the boss has got to pick you, but, it, you know, it's a goal of mine. So you see the best players in the world, they play every game, you know, 
week in, week out, and they keep their bodies right. And it's not that I'm doing the wrong things away or on the, on the park, you know, that my body's breaking down, but that's just a luck of the draw sometimes. And that's, that's one of the major goals. Obviously, I want to do well and play well for the team and hope we get the same success as we did last year, which I'm confident we will. Um, because like I said, we've got the depth in the squad and we've got, got good players who've come in. Um, so yeah. Last season, I started on the left and you know played all pre-season and played the first six. Well, played like 11 games, whatever it was, in that position and you know held my own, did a good job. But you know at the end of the day, when you break down injured, people only remember the second half of the season and they only remember the business end. And it's you know it's easy, you're easily forgotten about in football, I find. Um, and so you know. Other people take the glory, but that's all. That's that's part of it. Um, you know, we're a team, we're as one. So, you know, I wasn't. I didn't feel bitter about it, about the situation I was in or anything like that. Um, but I feel, you know, since I've been at the club, I've, you know, always worn my heart on my sleeve and put my put the work in week in week out when I play. And you know, I'm I'm not originally from Perth, but this is my local team. This is my home. Um, you know, I'm from Manchester, but I don't class that as my home anymore. My home is in Perth, um, so every time I go out on the pitch, I, you know, I play for the badge and I want, want the club to do well.